In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a way to create inflated text within After Effects. You will not need to use any 3D software or plugins to create this effect, and you can do it in less than four minutes. Let's jump in. All right, I am inside of After Effects and I've got my text layer sitting here. You are going to want to choose a kind of round font like the one I'm using. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I would recommend getting as close as possible. This is the font that I am using. And I'm pretty sure this is an Adobe font. So you should be able to go into the fonts uh, download section if it's not in there already. I'm going to right click on my text layer and go to pre-compose. And I'm going to name this text source. Move all attributes and press OK. All right, so I'm actually just going to scale this up. And you don't have to do this. Um, but I want to see it a little bit closer. So under effects and presets, I'm just going to type in fill. And I'm going to drop this onto my layer and just change the color. It's just an easier way to do it. All right, so I want to start inflating this text. So I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in glass. Grab this CC glass and drop it onto my layer. I'm just going to go into the surface and I'm going to adjust the softness, height and displacement to kind of adjust this shading. So I'm going to bring the softness up to about 37. That will do fine. I'm going to leave the height where it is and bring the displacement up to 210. Then I'm going to go to effects and presets again and type in plastic and drop this CC plastic onto my layer. And I'm not even going to make any changes on here. So really it's just um, fattened it up a little bit and added this shading to it. If you want to change the look of these things you could go into the light and shading but I'm just going to leave it as is. So next I'm going to come back into my text source and I'm going to add a animation to this. So I'm just going to go out to about one second and on my text I'm going to drop into this little drop down arrow and on animate I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to add a keyframe here and then I will come back to about here and change this to zero. So now when I play through, it's scaling in. But um, you can see these red dots here. I'm not loving that it's kind of growing from the bottom. So to fix that, I'm just gonna go to more options and bring this up till it's about the center. So now when I scale through, it's come there, it's scaling up from the center of the text. All right, so I will jump back into my main composition. And when I play through, you can see that there's this um, kind of undesirable effect going on, and that's to do with the glass. So uh, to fix this, I'm just going to add some keyframes. So I'll drop into the effects and on the CC glass and plastic, I'm going to open up this. I'll just add some keyframes on the softness, height and displacement. And then I'm just going to go back to the beginning just as it's starting up and I'll change all these to zero. I'll do that on the plastic as well. So now when I play through, the effects are basically fading in themselves. So uh, we're not getting that undesirable round glassy effect that was going on. So that's looking pretty good. I can do one more thing to make this slightly bigger. I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in simple and drop this simple choker onto my layer. And if I just drag this down, you'll see it actually gets to a point and stops. So it's got its limitations. There you have it. Click this video right here to see what else you can do with an After Effects. See you in the next one. Bye.